You're listening to NPS Connections with A.J. Hoffman. Hello, friends. Welcome to NPS Connections. I'm your host, A.J. Hoffman. I'm joined today by two students from Midland High School. They are both in Business Professionals of America. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Andrew Steger. I am a senior this year at Midland High. It is my fourth year in BPA, and I'm actually the BPA president this year. Hi, my name is Stephen Hackbarth. I'm a senior at Midland High School, and I hold the executive officer position of historian of our BPA chapter. So Stephen, what do you do as BPA historian? So as a historian, a lot of times this officer position can be, can be looked at as like the role that doesn't really do anything, but this, it has been a great opportunity. Um, I have taken over the, the social media aspects, so I am recording the, the history of our club by, by creating a platform in which people can look back and say, oh, what did you do in, in 2022? What, what did it look like at the national conference? Uh, events like this where you're able to, to have chapter outreach. So um, my job is to record all of that and then keeping track of um, the accomplishments of each member of our, of our chapter. Perfect. And what about you, Andrew? As president, what, do you, what are you responsible for? There's kind of a lot of responsibilities as the president of BPA. Um, it's kind of wide-reaching. Um, you know, there's a little bit of everything here. I, I reach out to new members to try to make sure they're understanding what BPA is. They're off and running well. Um, I help lead the meetings. So we had, yesterday was our monthly meeting. I was in charge of running that. So I had the agenda and I went through with our, we had a morning and afternoon meeting for members. And I, I ran through that and talked to our members just so we had everyone's on the same page. Uh, I communicate with other people as well, like the officers, the other officers on the team, and then also the advisors to make sure everyone knows what's going on. And really just try to keep the ship sailing smooth as we go through this BPA season. Perfect. Guys, do you want to kind of talk a little bit about um, how you got started in BPA? Uh, for sure. Uh, I was a freshman when I first joined BPA. I was actually the only freshman guy. Stephen didn't join my freshman year, unfortunately, but it was kind of cool being a freshman as a guy, the only one out there setting some trends. Uh, it was interrupted by COVID, however, we didn't get to have our state competition, but competing as a, in the regionals as a freshman was a pretty cool experience, and it definitely was something I was looking forward to for the next three years of high school. Yeah, and I started my junior year of high school, uh, so this is my second year in BPA, and I had always been interested in business education and a business career, so I knew it was something I, wanted, I was interested in. But I was nervous that I wouldn't be good at it my freshman and sophomore year. And then finally I had a very important teacher uh, for my advanced business class. And she just encouraged me to do it and just commit, and I did. And it turned out to be uh, one of the best decisions I ever made. So. Awesome. So what's BPA? Uh, BPA is a business, well, BPA is a club at Midland High School in which students compete in a wide variety of business-related competitions. So this can look like presentations, computer programming assessments, and there are written tests as well. So without all these, throughout all these events, there's an emphasis on public speaking skills and understanding the functions of business. The goal really is for BPA to apply all those things Stephen was saying and really put it towards a business career even if it's not necessarily a business career, any type of career path really, BPA really builds skills that really are found in the workplace, and that's really our main goal is to help build up students for future career paths. Mm -hmm. 100%. Perfect. Steven, you kind of said you, you're you gearing up for a career in business. What's your, what's your intent? What do you want to go into? Yeah, so I want to go into marketing, and specifically marketing in the fashion industry. I've always just had, um, I've always liked the idea of combining like an analytical side and a creative side. So I think business is the, the perfect uh, career field to do that, and I uh, just want to leave a, an impact on the world. Nice. So, well then what would I, your ideal job be then? I would like to do like um, product management, and um, I'm a little undecided whether I would be more interested in like the promotion and advertising field, or if I would be more into like market research and understanding the consumer. How about you, Andrew? Not quite that business focused. Um, I mean, BPA is great even if you're not looking to go specifically into the business field. Uh, me personally, I, I, my thinking is engineering, something along that line, but I for sure definitely look at going back to like an MBA later in life. Engineering paired with any kind of business degree makes you a pretty, really competitive, uh, sought after person in the job market. So 
anything coupled with business is really good. So engineering is my like main thing, but I definitely be considering a business degree later in life. Gotcha. Now, from an education standpoint, because this is an education podcast, what are some of the benefits you think students could could gain from being a part of BPA? One of the main ones that I, I've helped develop through BPA is public speaking. So anytime you have to give a presentation in like a history or English class on a wide variety of topics, BPA really hones public speaking and how to be a confident public speaker. Uh, BPA has really helped improve my public speaking skills where I feel like I'm a lot more confident in the classroom and out of the classroom and I feel like that will definitely translate into life as well. And a more comprehensive approach to like the work that you do. So for example, I'm writing a paper right now for my BPA event and we have to do a work cited and like a lot of very strict formatting, which is very similar to like college papers. Um, and I had never taken that approach to any paper I was just doing in English class, but now I do. I really am thorough about everything that I complete in my in my school day as well. Right, Andrew, I could tell the the public speaking is definitely like a strong point of yours. I saw you at the NHS induction the other day, and you were you were awesome up there. You're telling jokes, and <laughs> you're funny, very well poised and confident. That's that just kind of like grew from BPA, or just uh, taking a million public speaking classes, or what? Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a combination. So, um, from a very young age, I have to thank my mother, Miss Connie Beeson Steger, who's also a teacher at Midland High. Um, she's she's had, awesome. Yeah, yeah, she she's had me in public speaking events since literally first grade. I competed in my <laughs> first. Uh, oratorical speech competition at, at a grade one against high school students for a scholarship and yearly she has signed me up through the Bay City Oratorical Moon Optimus competition. I have done public speaking over and over again and coupled with BPA it is it's combined to really make a I like to say a strong public speaker out of me and I, I definitely have, have to attribute some of the skills to BPA and both the public speaking is practice makes perfect as they say so the more the more you use the public speaking event it just gets stronger and stronger. Oratorical event. I, I didn't even know that was such a thing. That's awesome. Leave it to Mrs. Steiger, though. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can't confirm. I've known him since elementary school, and this kid, he's always been known for his, his poise in uh, public speaking, for sure. Awesome. Now, can you talk to me a little bit about competition? We, uh, we talked to the DECA crew last time, and I'm more familiar with them and what they do. Can you kind of Walk through, walk me through what competition looks like in BPA. So, um, specifically for like, I'm in the entrepreneurship event, for example, and um, I know events like global marketing and small business management function the same way, in which it starts with something like writing a paper. So you can you write a paper and they give you a prompt. Um, for entrepreneurship, it's create a business plan. Uh, and develop a product and so you write a paper and then you also have to prepare a presentation that you will give in front of a panel of judges so the competition looks like you walk into a room and you set up your computer and you give the, um, the oral presentation to to a panel of judges from a little bit of wider perspective so that's an individual event each student is encouraged to do a team event and an individual event so each student can do two events total at the event or at the competition, excuse me. And then of those two, one of them can be a team event and one of them can be individual. You can do two individual, but you only can do one team event. So I know Steven's on a team event this year and I'm also on a team event this year. And it's pretty cool to be on a team because the collaboration is all what makes BPA. And team events typically do a little bit better and the stronger you do, the farther you can go and see more people and do more things. So that's always really cool. Um, for me individually, my individual event this year is business finance. It's a test um, that's actually different than what I've done from previous years. But my team event, uh, Parley Pro or Parliament of Procedure, uh, that's a pretty uh, daunting attempt, or event this year and I, I needed the time to focus on that one. So it's just pretty cool. There's just a wide variety of events, different things. So like Steven said, his is a presentation in front of judges. Other people just do a test with a computer. Some people are coding. Some people submit a video and don't even have to do anything at the actual competition. There's just a wide variety of things you can do. Talk to me about the coding thing. What's what's involved? I can't imagine how that's integrated with with a business um, com yeah, or business so competition. There's like JavaScript and C plus plus and stuff like that, in which you it's similar to like I took fundamental spreadsheet. So that computer related event, you go into a room and it's just like a, it's a computer lab, and they give you as soon as you walk in what you need to do. So you have to be prepared. Like you have to develop the skills and actually be able to apply them. When you, when you get into a room and you have no understanding of what the prompt is beforehand. So they could ask you to code um, like anything that would relate to like a business's uh, functions 
and you just have to be able to do that on the spot. So it's pretty incredible that they're able to do that for sure. That's really cool, yeah. What makes BPA stand apart from other clubs? Besides DECA, BPA and DECA are like unrivaled with any other club at either high school or middle public schools is it's just so like diverse. We offer, what we do at both DECA and or BPA are we prepare and then compete. And other than like robotics, where theirs is more like mechanical, hands-on, ours is more of the business world and it's, it's with, our, with our minds and we create things and then present that way where it's just not really offered anywhere else throughout the district. It's just a really unique event or an opportunity as there are any other others like it really. Also, you meet like some of the best friends you'll ever meet there because of two reasons. One, you get to travel with your club. So like I can't think of any other club besides sports teams where you get to travel and like stay in a hotel and like uh, experience different things. And then for the second reason, it's also a high stakes competition. So you really get to grow and watch others grow alongside with you in terms of their their public speaking and just their what they've been working on. So it's really an incredible opportunity to meet friends. Yeah, well, what's it like representing Midland High in, in BPA? I think it's an awesome experience. Um, Everyone gets dressed up because we're a business club, obviously, so we're all in our business professional attire. We all look in our very best. Uh, we all walk in with confidence. And typically, BPA, our advisors do an excellent job. Props to Dr. Kronk and Mrs. DeBoer. They prepare us extremely well, so we're always really competitive. So it's always really cool at the award ceremonies when we all go hoarse from cheering just because how well we do. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great experience to like represent Devon High with like pride and do well as well. Yeah, the culture is so prideful. Like. Uh, like you said about the advisors, they've really ingrained a, a competitive spirit in us, but also the ability to have to have fun with it along the way. So, for example, when we were going to nationals, before nationals, are we had a hall marching. So the band and the school mascot and everyone was like parading us around the school, basically, uh, and it, it was just so fun. And when we went to Dallas, it felt like we were uh, a part of something bigger than ourselves. So it was just a really great opportunity to represent our, our community at that level. We, and we should go a little further into that, right, Stephen? Not everybody gets to just go to nationals. Yeah. Like you, no. have to, you have to do well at, like, the, there's regionals or districts, right? Regionals, yeah. Yeah, and then states, and then nationals. Yeah, nationals so, yeah. so you guys, did you both go to Dallas, or...? Mm -hmm. We did, actually. We were both fortunate enough. So yeah, it starts at the regional competition. Our regionals this year is December 20th, so we got like three weeks now. We're coming up soon, December 20th. We're looking forward to that. Um, from that, how, how moving on works. So for individual events, the top five people at uh, the individual events at regionals move on to the state level, and the top two teams from the regional level move on. And there's multiple regions across the state of Michigan, obviously. And then we all come together for our state leadership conference, which is in March, I believe. Um, we'll compete there. We go to the Amway Grand in Grand Rapids. It's really cool to see other people from Michigan all over the place. And it's in a really swanky hotel. It, fits <laughs> yeah. it, it matches the vibe. We're all in business professionals. It's really cool. And then from there, the top five individual event or individual presenters or whatever individual event, I should say, move on as well. And it's the top three teams from states move on. And then from there, we meet this year. It's in Anaheim, California, which I'm really excited about for our national leadership conference. And I know both Steve and I made it to nationals last year, and it was, it was a great time. That's cool. That'd be cool to go to Anaheim. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Senior year, yeah, that's that's great. Right. Are you are you both involved in sports or no? Or um, you, yeah, sports I'm involved in uh, varsity wrestling. So. Okay. Uh, I was the one of the varsity captains with the soccer team this year, and I'll also be golfing in the spring. Okay. Tell me about. So this is more of an academic club. BPA is. Tell me a little bit about the differences in in I guess the adrenaline versus your you know. Your, your traditional sports yeah. so teams. So at wrestling tournaments, I know the you're always looking around to see you know who you're gonna who you're gonna basically fight, right? <laughs> um, but at a business um, conference, you're it's still that mentality like you're looking around for your competitors, but it's not quite like their physical you know prowess. It's more like oh that kid looks like he can give a like a mean presentation. <laughs> Or like that kid can definitely code, so it's the same thing where you're like, the the stakes are up there and you feel you feel amped, but uh, the difference lies in that BPA is a is a lot more like um, community feel. So sports, it's a uh, there's just all the competition, whereas BPA I feel like there's 
a huge variety of things that um, that support it. So. As far as the adrenaline goes, I would say it's pretty or pretty uh, comparable, actually. You know, like soccer, when you're waiting for that kickoff, that like feeling, yeah. that jitty, or the, like, you know, just like, whoa. I don't know how to express that <laughs> yeah, on yeah. the podcast, but it's just, it, yeah, it's great. And then, like, no matter how many times you do a presentation, you always still have that feeling when you walk in, you're like, it's, oh, it's go time, right? Yeah, like, Stephen knows it. I mean, anyone who gives speaking events know that it's just, it's there. And it's, it's pretty cool, though. I'm, I'm going to try to look junky myself. Big roller coaster fan, all that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. Walking into that presentation, it's awesome. And mm-hmm. I, I, I love that feeling. For sure. Can you give me kind of an example or a story of anything, like a, an interesting story that happened at either states or regionals or even at the nationals, either one of you, like just uh, an interesting story about something something memorable that happened at, at any, of, any level. Um, so, for example... Um, at the national conference in Dallas, they put on a big uh, event where there was like a Texas hoedown. I think that's what they called it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you got to meet like. Um, <laughs> no, that's exactly. There what was, it was. A, there was yeah. a mechanical bowl you got to go on to, and there was like everyone was wearing their cowboy hats, and it was just so awesome because you saw people from all around the country. You got to meet everybody, and. Um, also, you meet friends at the state leadership conference from all across Michigan, and you get to see them again at the nationals. So I feel like I, I just met some great friends there. That's cool. One of my favorite events from, or uh, memories from BPA is it's got to be at states. It's something we do as a club or as a chapter. We call it game night. <laughs> it's put on by our advisors, and we all meet in their like communal room. So all like thirty of us pile in. We have like five separate teams, and they do like team building games where it gets crazy mm-hmm. where you have to like relays and how quickly you can eat bubble gum on a whipped cream yeah, and, yeah it, it, that's always a that's, that was a great time for me where it was we were already we already had this because you won where, oh <laughs> you for, I, I didn't want i didn't want to flex that but yes my, my team was victorious that at game night no it was just it's just a great way we already have this tight-knit group because of bpa we're already at this community but like bonding even more with these people who were in it with us that was that's one of my favorite memories even though it's not like actually competing at bpa which is also awesome but that was one of my favorite things from mm-hmm. this last year that's very cool. Yeah, that some of the stuff that when I competed in DECA, I keep going back to this, like an old veteran or something. And it's those are some of the best times. Is like when you, you get to go and stay in a hotel at States or whatever. For sure. Or, it's just super cool. If you were recruiting, trying to get other students to, because BPA isn't like a cut thing. Mm-hmm. Nope. So anybody can be a part of it. If you're trying to recruit other students to be a part of BPA. What would you do, or what would you tell them? I would tell them that um, there's no better club to learn life skills. I feel like I have grown in confidence a lot more just because of BPA, and um, not only the fun aspect, but to to get up on that stage uh, is one of the best feelings ever because you you see your hard work pay off. I feel like not a lot of times you get to see um, your your diligence actually pay off in that way so I would say that I mean yeah it's just just because BPA is such a wide variety of opportunities it really any excuse someone could give me I could really just come back with anything they're like well I'm not good at public speaking and I'm like well you good at math take a test yeah I don't like math well then do public speaking right like yeah. so there's just so many things where I mean it's it's really hard like for you not to want to do it I mean some of the only like valid reasons to not do it or if you're just like so bogged down with your schedule rather. Otherwise, it's a great opportunity. At least try it once before you really hit on it. And I feel like a lot of people really do. It's those first time members who are like, wow, I didn't really know what this is all about. And they come back and back because it's just, it's just so awesome. And a lot of people say, oh, well, I'm not going into business. I'm not, I'm not interested in business. But what's so important with BPA is that every single field you go into, you're going to work for something that operates like a business. For example, um, health. There's a lot of health related events in BPA because hospitals or a- any practice that you go into is going to function like a business. Education, it functions the same way. So no matter what you're interested in, you can find something to to apply the skills you learn. Yes. Yeah. Adding on to that, sorry, there's all you even one that just came to me is interview skills. Like there's an event where yeah. we teach people how to interview effectively. You build your own resume, we practice interviewing with you, and then you go in like a live interview. And that's invaluable because no matter what job you apply for, you will have to do the interview process and we help prepare your students for that. Uh, that's something I was going to say as well. I, I wasn't interested in business when I was in high school, and you kind of look at it like, I don't want to be a part of a business club. That sounds boring, you know? 
But it's really awesome. It's it, it was it's kind of the most memorable experience of your high school career, and you pick up so many skills. For sure. You know, socially and just, I, it's going to touch on any any aspect of any career you choose. You know, once you graduate. For sure. So, yeah. Yeah. So the last uh, last question I have is. Um, so sell me this pen, guys. <laughs> it, it, you don't have to. He's reaching for it. Oh, Write your name. The <laughs> Supply the man. Right. <laughs> the old classic perfect. one, too. The old classic. Yep, I need a pen. All right, well, thank you, guys. I appreciate you being on the show. Um, that is our show. We'd like to thank all of our listeners around the district, around the country, and around the world for tuning in. We have launched our Instagram page, so you can follow us by searching at Midland Public Schools. Everyone, if you're listening and you're interested in keeping up with the MHS BPA chapter, you can follow our Instagram page at chemics.bpa. Chemics.bpa. All right. And if you have a story idea, photo op, or event, you can email us at communications at midlandps.org. Thanks again for listening. We're taking winter break off, so you can catch us after the new year. Thanks a lot. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of MPS Connections. We release new content on the first and third Thursday of almost every month. Do you have an idea for a podcast or other content from around this district? Send it to communicationmidlandps.org. Thanks.